Restoration company is here restoring our smoked up house. Did you ask them what, what they thought the timeline was? The jefe isn't here. Oh, dang it. Did you talk to them about cleaning certain things? No, I haven't talked to them. Come on, Lily. Anything you don't use or wear anymore, you're gonna throw away, okay? Textile's coming. They don't need to wash anything that we don't, that we're not gonna keep. Yeah, like old toys and junk. I know this. Our normal life has been severely disrupted. I figure the more attention we can put on this, the better to get it over with. Here, and we can get back to normal. Do you understand? Yeah. Like the granny quilt, leave it. We're, we want that. Get in, do you wear this shirt anymore? Yes. Okay, then we want it. So let's this is kind of good because we're going to move over there in a couple of months anyway. We're going to move back home, forcing us to clean it out. Okay, go get behind it. Keep these socks. Worth washing? Not worth washing. We're going to replace it. Gideon's room down. You overwhelmed yet? Just says working on his room. Y'all's room is so much better. Can I wash every single one of those Legos? Oh, I like that. Let's get that washed. Guess we're getting new mattresses. You don't want to risk having the fire stream. And Winnie, you got no idea what's going on, do you? What's going on? So there's some talk from the insurance people. Two months. Talk from the cleaners. Two weeks. I hope they're right. Bless her. She was. She just bouncing from cabin. The remodel. Hello. Annie. <laughs> and I could give you a hug. You already took the door off. Well, I've had help from Aunt Anne. Good. And she just went down to go get Randolph. Miss Anne was thinking um, we should check the voltage to make sure this house can power without you all shorting out stuff if you start the dishwasher or something. All right, back to some homesteading stuff. Stud muffin's coming any minute. Hey, Aunt Anne. I went to check with him about running the fridge yep. on your circuit box here. Because if it's gonna snap like it, okay? Yeah. He said he could put a new circuit in if you need it. Yeah. And then he also said that if you're only wanting one here at your house, you should be all fine. Yeah. And then he said he could run another one for you down there if you need it. Oh, that's good. So enough. he said he could hook it up. We got you, Henry. distracted me <laughs> okay so is it oh that's wait it's gonna be two it's only it's one to two with you you got one to me anyway. get rid of the rice to make room we don't need it we never used it we got to make room for stud nothing we might not even need that freezer down there we can put ground beef in here you want to put just one of one type of thing so in a chest freezer you don't want to be looking for varieties of meats let's move all this over to that freezer Line. Then we'll have a whole stud nothing freezer. <laughs> I like this. It's like they got it, Ann. Oh yeah. We don't even have to do anything anymore. All right, we got a whole stand up for stud. We consolidated all our lamb and ham. We got a half a chest freezer. And good news, our house is getting painted. It's like 28 degrees out here. I guess they don't care. And I reckon we got rid of five trash bags of junk so we're getting ready for the move there's good things happening Mama, here would be the seat time meeting yeah. we have some me. bunching onions to plant thank you for making lunch lily well they want our natural light over here huh i got you i got you going on my afternoon walk grandma and grandpa will be coming down this road any minute with stud muffin. I'll catch you right. There he is. Oh, wow. Whoa. All right, I'll get in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coolers, two baskets, plus the whole back seat of an F-250. <laughs> we are. Where are you building this mountain bike course? It starts at the pond. Is it a downhill? Yeah. Oh, we got a lot of stud. No. You ready? Put the patties in the chest freezer. Did you know there's a whole back seat? Oh. <laughs> Look at this beautiful brisket. He might be minimum 600 pounds frozen here. He was 1,100 pounds weight hanging weight, so maybe 700 pounds. We're gonna up our beef intake, 20 pounds a week. Five weeks would be 100 pounds, times seven, 35 weeks. I don't think these bones should go in here. We gotta go to a different place. We got that pool. Did we get everything out of the front of the truck? Okay, you gotta put a weight on it. There's some ribs. 
Yeah, yeah, short ribs. Look at these gorgeous short ribs. And this is really more. fatty. Chuck roast. I might have made a mistake keeping them. They look too lean. Well, we can make them not tough by cooking them low and slow. Maybe cook them for 12 hours. That size of that beef tenderloin. We can consolidate this this a little bit better, Jonah. One freezer, slap full. What shut? It shuts. We added more to this one. It shuts nicely. We did it. We can get that freezer out of the farmhouse. Oh boy, decided you need any help. This afternoon, a little homestead builds work for our homestead builds book. Chick Brooder is coming out soon. For those who backed the homestead builds project, we're including the builds for these dirt traps. It's two foot by two foot. I'm gonna give this info to my co-author, engineer, carpenter, Chris Slattery. Lily, how are your horses? She just rode her horses. They don't care if our house smoked out, do they? Come on, boxing man. All right, we gotta go get dinner supplies. I'll hold you. This smells so much better. They're wiping every single thing down. Sudden up in liver. And sudden up in meat. Looks delicious, Lily. Mm -hmm. Old Stud's gonna be top notch. We're back in the saddle again with the very pot that started it all. La la let, la la let me be free.